give me a message that creates some sense of potential redemption here. That everyone has the potential to be better and to be something. You just have to make that change in your life and you have to do it for yourself and that nobody is going to come along and help you make those changes. You just have to turn the switch and do it yourself. You just don't want to see somebody that young with that much potential throwing their life away because the website that she is on, there are a bunch of creepy dudes who don't want to do this. I am just some loser who has already been super depressed and is at the lowest point in his life and now it's about to get even lower. I was hoping that I could talk a young person out of getting off a website that is just has horrid amount of people on it. It's, it's more to that because I know that I have wasted the potential of my life and that you can, just sitting down with somebody and talking to them is a lot more than, uh, like you can convince somebody a lot more when they see you and the words you're saying and then, uh, you know? the genuinality of what they're saying to you and the understanding that like this person has gone through things and they understand that what I'm going through right now, I can change and I need to make those changes. Because somebody else had told me about this and how it works and uh, just a horrible way to throw a life away. Right. I thought that I was coming here to meet a 19 year old girl who I was going to talk to about trying to get her life together. Well, obviously, I knew uh, when I walked in here that I didn't, you know, I didn't want to do anything. I just wanted to just kind of hang out. I have about an hour left. I'm about to go to sleep and I have to work in the morning and that's it. By the, I just want to be like that very clear that I wasn't doing anything illegal. I didn't come here for anything illegal. I came here to hang out because then I'll get fired. That's the only, if I lose that, I lose everything I have. I don't have anything, sir. Like, I'm alone in my life. I have nothing. My mom's the only one living. I take care of her the best I can. Uh, and that's it. If I lose that, I have to lose everything I have. I can't lose everything I have because well, who's gonna take care of my dog? Who's gonna take care of my house? What's gonna happen to me? I'm telling you, would you please read the read the uh, the skip the games skip post? The game. I, I would never do this again. Yeah, I've learned I learned my lesson. I wish I could do something to to walk away. So sir, I was just here to talk, and then I would. You, know, you were here to talk, talk, and then just to leave. Yeah, I'm told to you know go uh, leave my job. I have to you know that, that's the reason I was frustrated. What? Gotta face it now. Nothing I can do about it. And I'm telling you the damn truth. I was stupid. I was dumb. I didn't do anything to anybody. But yes, I was dumb. Yeah, don't do it. You're stupid if you do. Sometimes I I do before I act and I right. should have more thought and again. The whole conversation wasn't in honest, it was more of a lie. I wasn't planning to do anything. I was just more just hang out, literally. I just wanted to watch TV, maybe a, a movie. Uh, I, was, I tried saying about cards. It's like I was telling a young lady outside, yeah, I need to make better decisions and smarter at doing stuff. Because as far as a detective, you see I suck at a detective work. But anyway, I wrote all kinds of stuff because when I was first told on a site last night about a 14 year old girl, that, that hit hard. I got $6 in the set. So then when it, I was told it was 14, I was like, this is messed up. Right. So I fed into it and I fed into it. I was wrong. I was wrong. But uh, I'm just saying a kid shouldn't have to go through that. No kid should have to go through that. Well, it all started on the on a, on a adult side. I didn't right. think they would believe. And in the, in the same sentence, that whole, I kept thinking it was D. Mm -hmm. Every now and then I would think it would be a Jenny because when I was talking to D on the phone, mm -hmm. supposedly D, which was on the cover cop. So all of them is not Jenny or D. That's who it's supposed to be. Is right. what, but the whole time, it's me that's still D. That's the same D. Honestly, I mean, that's the reason I, I told them specifically right. that, thank God, that y'all wasn't caught because I'd have been calling the cops. And, and, and here's the thing, it's the I text totally messages, and do you know how many other guys, do you know how many other guys have been in your situation 
and tried to sell me on the same story. Well, Dave, I've been at this for a long I, time. I right. And there have been a number of occasions where a fellow has told me the same story. And it's turned out to be a lie in every single case.